like David, I'm going to start with um, Ofsted and then move to heads and do, through, do so through um, accountability. I think I would give, out of ten, one and a half um, marks to politicians for making the case and continue to make the case for rising funding for schools after what was, to be honest, decades across both parties of underinvestment in education in the 70s and the 80s and early 90s. I would give one and a half to Ofsted because personally and from personal experience, I'm a great believer in Ofsted's ability to go in and challenge entrenched um, underperformance. And I think Ofsted is very important within our accountability system. I'm going to give seven to teachers and head teachers because I think they make the biggest difference. And the most important thing we can do as politicians is get people who will be great heads um, into headship early and support them as they um, develop. The second thing is, Michael, um, Michael's strategy is to try to deny difference and to talk about dividing lines as if this is somehow um, you know, unsavoury. But the reality is there are quite fundamentally different philosophical approaches to the size of the state and the funding of education, but also to how you improve schools. My fundamental view is that we will only get great schools if we use our best school leaders collaborating with other school leaders in nearby schools and across the school system, schools working with schools to drive up standards. Michael, although he doesn't want to talk about it, has a fundamentally different view, which is he wants to use market mechanisms, and what he wants is the new school down the road to take away pupils and put competitive pressure on the existing school. If you want to know, Mick, what will drive out head teachers from wanting to be head teachers, I think in secondary and in primary school, having independent opting out schools, not teaching the curriculum, um, not applying the national agreement with the power to summarily sack teachers, as Michael is proposing, then fighting things out in a competitive marketplace. I think all the evidence we have is that, that will lead to lower standards, is the evidence from Sweden, lower standards and rising social inequality where most schools and most kids get a second class deal. Call it dividing lines, call it different philosophies, call it the right versus um, the centre left. I don't mind, it is a very, very different approach. I want to back great head teachers, give them responsibility over the curriculum, over their budgets, more pay, but what I don't want to do is set head teacher against head teacher in every community. If you do that, we would have torn up all the progress we've made in the last um, 15 years in school standards and schools supporting schools. And I think to go for that market-based approach, Mick, would be the worst thing for many of your members. Thank you, Ed. Yes.